Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Silver. In the last episode we had our first episode in the beautiful daytime Johto and um, we caught lots of new Pokemon because obviously it was daytime for the first time and we could actually catch some of these new Pokemon rather than it just constantly being nighttime. In this episode we're going to make our way through Union Cave and get to Azalea Town hopefully if I'm lucky if I don't take too long Anyway, uh, we have also got this phone call from Joey once more. Mark, howdy. It's me, Joey. Isn't it nice out? How are your Pokemon doing? My rat is really energetic. It's a handful. It isn't. I almost got Kakuna the other day. Oh, it was so close to. See you later. It was starting to get a bit tiresome, uh, those little phone calls. But nonetheless, okay, so this is Union Cave. Looks a bit eerie. Oh, and we have a wild onyx, but we already have got an onyx because we traded our bell sprout for it and Totodile takes down the onyx pretty simply okay Ooh, what else do we have we have wild radita that's nothing really to be worried about uh <laughs> cans learns poison sting goes to level nine that's pretty good now whoa what a surprise i didn't expect to see anyone here tiger daniel wants to battle and he's got an onyx as well and Onyx will go down to a quick blast of water again. Hikadani was defeated. What? I'm beaten big time. Whoa, I'm beaten big time. I was conned into buying a slowpoke tail. I feel sorry for the poor Pokemon. And there's a potion there as well. Okay, let's keep moving. We've got this though. And you're heading to Azalea, aren't you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to battle. Hiker Russell sends out Geodude. So... Lots of rock Pokemon, as we usually, ex you know, as any Pokemon, uh, any Pokemon player sort of got used to in the sort of, uh, in the caves and stuff like that. So, Totodile is going to get a lot of experience here, hopefully, or at least going to get a decent amount of experience along with that Uh Pretty simple, all of these guys are quad weak, well, Onyx and Geodude are all quad weak to, uh, to water. Oh, whoa, whoa, he says. Alright then, I've decided I'm not leaving until my Pokemon get tougher. Now about this guy, Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Says Fire Breather Bell. I wonder if he's got fire Pokemon. Nope, he's got a coughing. Why would you call yourself Fire Breather and then not have fire Pokemon? Okay, anyway. And he's going to use coughing again, so again, bring in Ekans for some experience, and then go back down to Hoot Hoot for a couple of tackles. Should take it out once more. There we go. I breathe the bill. Was defeated. I flamed out. On weekends, you can hear strange roars from deep in the cave. Apparently. Okay, Geodude is out now, and once again, we'll go Totodar, Water Gun. There's something. Well, the, the X attack. So there's an X attack there. Oop. More Zubat. Okay. So I still have nothing that's super effective against these guys, so there's no real point in worrying about it. Totodar is getting a fair amount of levels though, which is good. Let's talk to this guy. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival, says Pokemaniac Larry, who has got a Slowpoke, and Slowpoke looks adorable in this gen. Oh. Okay, um, so, nothing too much to worry about. Again, the Pokemaniacs in their obsession with Slowpoke continues. Ekans grows to level 11. Hoot Hoot's up to level 105. Larry was defeated. Uh, my poor Pokemon. Every Friday, you can hear Pokemon roars from deep in the cave. Okay, so Fridays. Not just weekends now, it's now Fridays. Well, let's go deeper into the cave and see what we can find. Um, that looks like a water route. Okay, there's an item up here. Ratata. Can I kill it? Can I kill you, Ratata? No, is going to be the answer, isn't it? Oh, no, I can. Yay, well done, Ekans, for defeating a Pokemon by yourself for the first time. Well, not quite the first time, but nonetheless, we get TM39, which is... 
Swift. Okay, so we now have Swift to add. And it looks like we're going to need to... Yeah, we need to surf. Okay. And we also get an X Defend. Sweet. So. Yeah, you're too fast for me, so we're going to go Hoot Hoot. We could you well use Swift, actually. Let's use it. Why on earth? Let's, let's be risky. Yeah, we'll teach it to Hoot Hoot, because Hoot Hoot uh, it's just, you know, it's far better than Tackle. Gets increases the bonus that obviously Hoot Hoot is carrying his normal base thing. Hoot Hoot is also normal normal flying, so therefore gets a uh, same type of attack boost. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, another wild well, battle. We've already spoken to you. There's another item down here. Another Zubat. There we go, sweet. And now, Mark found an Awakening. So we can start making our Pokemon less asleep. And I should have done that because I am so lucky that that didn't take me out. Okay. Twitter grows to level 18. Is that evolution? Yes, it is. Okay. So Totodile is evolving and becomes. Croconaw. Yeah, okay, sweet. So we now have a Croconaw on our team, which is pretty awesome. Again, need to stop trying to think I can take on those battles. I can't. Okay, keep going. Uh, we never went down here because there's an item and it was another great ball. Okay, that's useful. I mean, this, the process is obviously, you know, it, it can be annoying the whole, you know. I mean, bring in Ekans, take him out again, replace him with a Pokemon that can actually defeat. But it works, it's giving it a lot of, uh, a lot of levels. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Firebreather Ray wants to battle and sends out Vulpix, finally, a Firebreather who lives up to his name. Water Gun is used and Vulpix is down. That Vulpix sprite looked very nice as well. By the way, the ray was defeated. Flash, he says. It's my Pokemon's fire that lights up this cave. Okay, we are now out, and as you can see, it is now night time. Route 33. Hopefully, we'll eventually reach. It's a fruit bearing tree, and we get a poison cure. Worked out. Poison cure, not PSN cure, you know. I was like, PSN? Why? Why, why is Game Freak, you know, mentioning the PlayStation Network? Anyway, I'm going to see down here if there are any more wild Pokemon. It looks... there's nothing particularly here that's particularly interesting. I've seen Rattata, Ekans, more Ekans. Ekans grows to level 12, so it's still good. Just keep getting the levels, that's all it needs to do. Yeah, just, just Ekans and Rattata. We might see if there's any more. Anyway, I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. I grant me looking very pleased with himself there as he sends out his Geodude. It won't stand a chance against my Croconaw. There we go, sweet. And now he's also got a Machop. So I'm going to go to Ekans and I'm going to Hoot Hoot. Um, I reckon Hoot Hoot's pack should be able to take him out in two hits. It does, sweet. Pokemon is, my Pokemon team is a little weak. <laughs> Sorry, a bit low on health. Hacker Anthony was defeated. Well, boy, you got more zip. <clears throat> Sorry about that. He says, oh no, mum, mum is ringing. Hi, Mark, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your PC. You'll like it. We hikers are at our best in the mountains. Wow, you're pretty tough. Gonna get your phone number? I'll call you for a rematch. So, we get Anthony's number. Um, hopefully he's not as annoying as Joey the youngster. With his constant rings. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? Slowpoke Well, also known as the Rainmaker Well. Local believes that a Slowpoke Yawn summons... A rain. Records show that a slowpoke's yawn ended a drought 400 years ago. 
The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tales are being sold somewhere. <sighs> Azalea Town, where people and Pokemon live in happy harmony. That sounds like a nice place. Okay, let's go here. There's no great balls here. Pokeballs will have to do. I wish Kurt would make me some of his custom balls. A great ball is better for catching Pokemon than a Pokeball. But Kurt's might be better sometimes. Okay. Pokemon, obviously we're going to heat up. We'll have a quick chat to everyone in here as well. Do you know about apricorns? Crack one open, hollow it out, and fit it with a special device. Then you can catch Pokemon with it. Before Pokeballs were invented, everyone used apricorns. Bill's PC can store up to 20 Pokemon per box. Do you know your Pokemon... Do you know Pokemon know... Do your Pokemon know HM moves? Those moves can be used even if your Pokemon has fainted. Like Flash, for example. As we've seen before. No, sorry, I missed that. Did you come to get Kurt to make some balls? A lot of people do just that, I see. Charcoal Kiln. All the Slowpoke have disappeared from town. The Forest Protector may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. Far-fetched! Qua! Where have all the Slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? It's not a nice shot. Pokemon magazines, we've already seen that one, I think. Pokemon Power, Pokemon Handbook, Pokemon Graph. Okay. This is the Pokemon Gym Leader Bugsy, the Walking Bug Pokemon Encyclopedia. Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? And they're being guarded by some guy in dressed all in black. Cut through Azalea and you'll be in Ilex Forest, but these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. The Charcoal Man's Pokemon can cut down trees. Ilex Forest, enter through the gates. Kurt's house. We'll go and see what Kurt wants to say. Hmm, who are you, Mark, eh? You wanna, you want me to make you some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke's tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on. Slowpoke, old Kurt is on his way. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. It's a statue of the Forest Protector. It's full of difficult books. See if there's anything there, doesn't look like it. Let's see if it's fantastic. A young Professor Oak? Hmm. Well, I'll quickly do this. It's a fruit bearing tree. It's a what? I'm assuming that means white. A white apricorn. Anyway, we'll now zip around. We'll go see if he has opened. He has opened the well, so let's go down. Kurt, hey there, Mark. The guards up top took off when I shouted at them, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Mark, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think if I vent my anger by taking it out on you, says a rocket grunt who has got a rat attack. But it's only level 9, so... Goes down in two scratches from Croconaut, which is good. He's also got a Rattata. Okay, hands. This time we'll go to Hoot Hoot. But well, Hoot Hoot's going to get a fair amount of help when we go into the when we go into the gym, I think. Rocket Grunt was defeated. Ah, this is not my day. Sure, we've been hacking the tails of Slowpoke and selling them. Everything we do is for profit. That's right. We're Team Rocket, and we'll do anything for money. Stop taking tails. Yes, try and defeat all of us, says Rocket Grunt, female, who's got a Zubat, so with a Croconaw, and use Watergun. Ah, natives out. And then we've got a Neckhands, a level 11. Can't beat my Neckhands. Eh, yeah, probably could if I'd been as silly as I was being there. Ah, oh, it's poison me or something. Ekans grows to level 13, Croconaw gains 72 experience point. Rocket Grunt was defeated, you rotten brat. Uh, we'll go to the pack and we'll quickly use an antidote on Croconaw. 
Superpook's tails grow back fast. What's wrong with sealing them? Mark found super potion. Are they meant to be slowpoke sprites? <laughs> Quit taking slowpoke tiles. If we obeyed you, Team's Rocket Rep would be ruined. He's got a radiator. Good. Poison Sting is doing a decent amount of damage now. Sweet. So that takes out that radiator. And then you got a Zubat. Like, uh, Raph is doing a decent amount of damage, it does do a decent amount of damage, and then, uh, I'm gonna swap out to, uh, Croconaw just for the final, final Zubat. Again, nothing of this is really particularly challenging. Rocket Grunt was defeated. Just too strong. We need the money, but selling Slowpoke tails? It's tough being a Rocket Grunt. A Slowpoke with its tail cut off. Hmm, it has mail. Read it. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love Dad. A Slowpoke with its tail cut off. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. He's got a level 14 coughing. We'll use Water Gun and take out the coughing. There we go. Croconaw grows to level 19. Obviously, a pity that Ekans fainted that time. Nonetheless, Rocket Grunt was defeated. You did okay today, Brad, but we'll wait till next time. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. They've all disappeared, and Kurt has arrived. Way to go, Mark. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. Hi, Mark. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honoured to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. We get a lure ball. Mark, put the lure ball in the ball pocket. I make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. You have an apricorn for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. I'll make it take us a day to make a ball. Come back for it later. Okay. The slowpoke my dad gave me came back. Its tail is growing back too. Can I give them the mail? I don't know. Focus gear. Pack mail. I'm sure that was somewhere I can do. Or is it like in my? Maybe it was like in my. Uh, Is it in, like, in my PC? I don't know. Okay, no. Well, that's the Slowpoke. Well done. And now look, they're all sorts of stuff. Slowpoke. Yawn? Slowpoke. Slowpoke being typically slow here. No, I'm not too sure about those Slowpoke sprites. They don't quite look right now, do they? Um, nonetheless... Anyway, let's see if there are, are there now wild Pokemon down here. There are, and we get wild Slowpoke. This is the one I was hoping for. Uh, we have poisoned it, which is actually pretty good luck. To be honest. And now we need to pray that the Pokemon will work. It should work. No, it doesn't work. Don't die. Please don't die. It died. Ah, oh, damn. That's nice. <laughs> Might use a Great Wall. But obviously, we're going to have to wait until we get the chance because. They'll probably now be like only Zubat now forever. I was like, Whoa. you could catch one Slowpoke. Come on, come on, game. More Zubat. Okay. Well, I'm like, in I think I'm going to swap to swap to Crocodile just for this. Like, I should be able to use Water Gun, and Water Gun shouldn't take out the Slowpoke because uh, obviously, same type. Not. It's not the same type. So. There we go, Slowpoke. Okay, it's Water Gun. So it does half damage. Uh, gonna go to Ekans. And just Poison Sting. There we go. Now, let's get. Let's use. What's a little ball? Okay, a Pokemon for a Pokemon. A ball for Pokemon hooked by a Rat. No, I'm gonna use a Great Ball. 
There we go, Slowpoke was caught sweet. So we get the dopey Pokemon, a sweet sap leaks from its tail's tip. Although not nutritious, the tail is pleasant to chew on. No wonder that everyone was talking about the Slowpoke tails, but nonetheless, that's very mean. You should not dismember your Pokemon, surely. So, uh, now that we got this far, I reckon, with Team Rocket cleared out of town, what we should do is take on the gym. Yo, Challenger, Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of bug Pokemon is for real. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see, bug Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. Okay, let's check out the first trainer. May, you want to see the leader? We come first. We? Twins, Amy and May, want to battle. They send her out. Lady Bar. Oh, they both fight as one, I guess. I think Poison Sting. Poison should be super effective against. Oh, I'm hurting myself in confusion. Come on, you can fight through it. Otherwise, yes, there we go. Be super effective. Nope, it's not super effective. Okay. I should be able to take it out. There we go. Sweet. So the enemy lady bar. We get 57. And then he's going to spin a rack. Uh, this time we're going to go to Hoot Hoot. Because we have Peck. Peck should be pretty much enough to take out all of these Pokemon. There we go. Oh, double goodness, they say. May our bug Pokemon last? Oh, what a shame. You're really strong, says Amy. We might do, like, I'll probably do, uh, hoot, uh, Ekans for the first, and then, uh, do, uh, Slowpoke for the next. You saved all the Slowpoke? Phew, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too. Says, says he's got grown-up Pokemon. He's actually only got a one Pokemon. And that is, uh, Paris. Ekans is down, which is a bit annoying. Ugh, who says? I guess I should teach them better moves. Um. Okay, let's do this one now. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get so they get stronger that much faster. That is true, actually. Yes. But unfortunately, your Bug Pokemon are still too young. Oh no, he's got a drill at level twelve. But goes down to a couple of pecs. Hootoot's up to level eighteen, and he's also got a Kakuna. So he had all of the all of the Weedle evolutions there. Benny. Just evolving isn't enough, though. Pokemon will become stronger if they evolve. Really? Last one of these trainers, and then I'll... Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. He's got Caterpie. Which goes down in one hit. And he's got a Weedle. Uh, nearly goes down in one hit, but doesn't. You proved how tough you are. They're so cool, but most girls don't like bug Pokemon. I don't know why. Well, we'll heal up. Uh, and then we'll head back in. And let's see what we can do against these guys. Against Bugsy. So here he is. Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Need a Bugsy wants to battle and he sends out Metapod to start off with. Pokemon that usually can't attack. Okay, it's, it's got Tackle. Could be in trouble. I'm already slower than you, there's really no point in using some string shot. There we go. Ekans defeats the Metapod, as I would hope Ekans could. Goes to level 14 as well, which is quite nice. Now he's going to use Kokuna. So he's all for the second evolution. It's weird, because obviously a Butterfree and a Beedrill, that wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> but, oh, it's not very effective because obviously it's uh, half poison type already. So Peck. Peck. There we go, get the crit hit, take out his Kokuna. And now we've only got left his Scyther. 
So we'll start off going to Ekans, I think. Um, side that looks so cool. So I'm gonna go Lyr. Don't take me out. It takes me out. Of course it does. Okay, I'm gonna go to Croconaw. Um, I'm gonna use Lyr. I should probably be very wary about what that Fury can do. He seems to be doing a lot more damage now. And he's faster than me. Is that going to take out Hoot Hoot in one go? Oh, that was a bit close. I was very silly there letting him get four Fury Cutters up and then... Okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have won that, but I did. Thank goodness Hoot Hoot is resistant to bug moves. Ooh, that was a bit tight. Okay, Hoot Hoot goes to level 19. Uh, Croconaw. And Eka and the boat down. Leader Bugsy was defeated. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. So we get a Hive badge. Do you know the benefits of the Hive badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Here, I also want you to have this. You get TM49. TM49 contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes on, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it! Bug Pokemon are deep. There are many mysteries to be explored. Study your favorites thoroughly. Thank you, Bugsy. So, we now have our second badge, our second victory at a gym. That one was a bit hair scare, you know, I was, yeah, I was stupid, essentially. I thought I could beat him, I could not. Well, I did, but just about. Anyway, we've got a battle with our rival now, it seems. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Huh, quit lying. You're not joking. Then let's see how good you are. Here we go. Jack wants to battle, and he sends out Ghastly. It's an interesting first Pokemon. Obviously poison type, um, so you're going to have very little help from Ekans. So I'm going to go to Croconaw. I am going to use a Awakening here. An Awakening, I guess. And obviously he gets the Paralysis. That's annoying. But actually, given that I've got paralysis, it means I can't actually be put to sleep, which means Ghastly goes down pretty quickly. Fight through paralysis twice in a row, which is nice. Croconaw gets it. Now, he's bringing out his bay leaf. So he's actually mixing up the order. Um, I'm going to go to Hoot Hoot and use Peck. Peck is super effective, as we would expect. Takes him out in three hits with a crit hit help. So... Bayleaf is down, Hoot Hoot gains a lot more experience, which is lovely. And he's going to use Zubat, so once more. I'm just going to use Peck, I think. This should be enough to take it out. Boom! Sweet! Okay, so Zubat is down. Hoot Hoot wins the battle for us. Jack was defeated. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you, you only won because my Pokemon were weak. Well, whose fault is that? I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. Doesn't matter who or what. I'm gonna be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group, but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Someone's got like a big issue with you know <laughs> an inferiority complex. Anyway, good evening, Mark. This is Liz. Were you awake? I dressed up my Nidoran. It looks even cuter than before. Guess what happened the other day? I missed catching Bellsprout again. Maybe I'm not very good at this. Okay. Anyway, we're going to quickly pop into Ilex Forest to see what Pokemon we can catch for the start. Um, especially seeing as... Uh, so time is just about running out um, here, but I'm going to just see which Pokemon we can get, especially because it's night time, we can catch Pokemon here at night, and then next episode we can see which ones turn up in the day. And wait, this guy worries us, because he, well, warns us about the largeness of Ilex Forest. The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. So I'm assuming 
Uh, is it just? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and to start off with, it's a lovely start. We get Oddish. Oddish is a Pokemon I want to catch. Um, I haven't decided which of uh, Vile, Plume, and Velossum I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be using one of them. So we'll use a couple of wraps, and then uh, yeah, and then we'll go Pokeball. Sweet! So we catch Oddish, which is pretty cool. We get the Weed Pokemon. If exposed to moonlight, it starts to move. It roams far and wide at night to scatter its seeds. Uh, so sweet. That's a new Pokemon for us. We get another Oddish here. Just quickly, uh, just do like a uh, few battles just here, just to see what else is around. Lots and lots of Oddish, but so it wouldn't matter to have we missed that first one, which is nice to know. Uh, we also get Zubat. Zubat aren't you know nothing to be worried about. Good, I'm not. Annoyingly, that missed. Rat missed again. There we go. Nice. More Oddish. Okay, let's do one more battle, and then I think I'll call it a day for this episode. And good thing I did stay for one more battle because we have a Paris here. Another Pokemon. Another Pokemon I can't use because I've already used a Paris. Uh, but nonetheless, there we go. So we catch Paris. That's another two Pokemon caught right at the end there. The mushroom Pokemon. As its body grows large, oriental mushrooms named Tochugaso start sprouting out of its back. Sweet. Okay, so that is it for this episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Silver. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've obviously got a new got a gym badge. In the next episode, we're going to start making our way through Ilex Forest. Hopefully, we'll get cut at some point. Um, and then we'll start heading to the next city, which, if my anime memory can... My memory of the anime is correct, is Goldenrod, I think. So, I hope you will catch me on the next episode.